Be right back. Hate it right, you clicked on the right video. Yes, okay, a $2 foundation slash concealer. So this is the 2B Mousse Foundation. I've never heard of this brand before until I was like browsing through Ulta and I was like, huh. And it was on sale for $2. It was $2.25. I was like, yes, I need to try. I don't know why it was $2 on Ulta that day, but it was. And I was like, I'm not asking any questions or complaining. So let's just go with it. The two shades I got was 03, which is mocha, and then 06 which is a mandate for example if you guys can see like this looks much lighter than it looks here Okay, it is darker on Ulta and here. It's much lighter I am if you're asking a bit disappointed about the color because I wanted to use it as foundation But for today's video, we're gonna use it as concealer Okay, and we're gonna see how long it lasts and how pigmented it is. It looks very very pigmented So Ulta says get the ultimate soft skin with this 2B colors mousse foundation this light and waterproof texture brings out the best in you plus it has a great mattifying effect that's all it said it doesn't actually tell you how to apply it or the benefits of it i guess that was the benefits wrapped up i've seen a lot of reviews on the ulta and a lot of people really like it they give it a five star okay i'm super pumped hello so we're super excited to see how this bad boy works so if you want to see how this foundation slash that i'm going to use as a concealer at work Make sure you stay tuned right now. All right, guys, so I went ahead and applied one layer of this foundation. So the shade that I'm going to be using is 06 Amande, if you're wondering. I'm just going to use this flat top brush. This is from Morphe. This is an E57. And I'm just going to dip into this. I'm going to apply this to under my eye. I'm going to go in with my sponge. This is from Rural Techniques. I mean... I don't see a big difference. I'm gonna apply a bit more. I'm gonna use my sponge this time to dip into it. And then I'm just gonna apply some under the eye. Maybe the sponge works a bit better than the brush. So we're gonna take a look at this eye, which is the concealer, and then this eye, which has no concealer. As I'm looking in the mirror, it looks more brighter. It definitely looks a bit more concealed under the eye. All right, so it looks like it covered a good amount. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under my eyes with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I like to quickly set my under eye with powder because it helps to really set the concealer in. All right, so I went ahead and set the rest of my face. I do like how the concealer looks, okay? It looks really good on the eye. It also looks very natural. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is my final look today. A bit more dramatic than usual, but I wanted to go a little bit more bolder. The last couple of days, I've been doing really natural looks. I was like, I'm going to go bold today, okay? Today is the day. <laughs> so right now, it's around 1245. 54. Oh. We're gonna wear this concealer for about five to eight hours. I'm gonna check in with you guys to see, especially really focus close to my face to see how well this concealer lasts. Okay, so I thought I would come back. It's been about three hours now. I thought I would come back and check in with you guys about the concealer. So I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Let's go get a little scary for a sec. Looking under my eye, I really do like the concealer. It looks really good still. It also looks really good far away and in person, so I have nothing bad to say about this. I'm actually standing in front of a window now, so it's very natural light. Absolutely. Although today's been like a weird day, I'm in like one of those moments where I'm like super worried about certain things in my life, and I'm like, oh, don't be worried, it's gonna be okay. And then I'm like, oh, it's hard not to worry, God, help me out. I know it's gonna, everything's gonna be okay in the end, it's just, you have those moments where you're like, Ooh, I'm just in this place where I'm just like so worried. I think the great thing about those when you get to those places, you're like, okay, I have two choices. I can either stay in that place and be worried and like go crazy and not enjoy my life, or I can get some rest, relax my mind, and then move out of that place and kind of think about like five years from now, is this gonna really affect my life or not? You know, that's where I am. And like also thinking like on the other side, there's individuals who have so much more hardships that they're dealing with right now. Those who have cancer, those who, um, their parents just died, like those little things in life or their, their children just died. Like you literally, we have so much to be thankful for. And it's just like, just walking into this and just like, getting out of my mind. It's okay to be worried, but don't live in a state of worry, you know? Give it, release it, release it. Okay, talking to myself right now, not just you. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing today. I don't know why I'm so much in my mind today about like just things in my life, but 
it's gonna be okay the concealer looks good so that's trick one but yeah if hopefully that encourages you today i'm just really doing that much all right guys so it's the end of the day i thought we'd come in and do a side by side up close for the concealer so you're gonna come on up close to my pores also do you see the shine I have not touched up at all on my foundation or anything today. <laughs> okay, so this is how the concealer looks up close. I definitely have to go ahead and give this product a thumbs up, especially the concealer. The color range for this product is terrible. I went online and looked at the 2B brand website. It looks like a European brand foundation. This is a darker shade they have. Like what 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 what's actually happening? I don't know. The product reminds me more of the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse foundation and the especially the one in the jar like this. So I definitely have to say give the the concealer a thumbs up slash the foundation because I use it as a concealer. No complaints and how my under eye look at all for me personally. It looked really really good on the skin. What do you guys think? Do you think you would check this product out especially if it was for two dollars like it's awesome okay you can just use it as concealer instead of a foundation just like I did it's just something new that I found out from Ulta hello okay also put it on sale again so y'all can get it and try it out too because right now Ulta it's $8.99 and I would not pay for it for $8.99 but let me know your thoughts down below if you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up make sure you go ahead and comment down below what you would like to see next. Thanks again for taking the time to watch today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye guys.